guys, look who we got. Woo! Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a little bit of walk with Lacey and I wanted to talk to you guys about my top five favorite nano fish. So stay tuned. So fish number one is gonna be the purple firefish. The purple firefish is easy to care for. They have a really great temperament. They are reef safe, so that's always good if you uh, have any concerns over some really expensive coral. You don't have to worry about them nipping at it. They suggest a minimum tank size of 20 gallons. Next is, they get about three and a half inches, so they're, uh, you know, they're on the smaller side of a fish and they are really, really cool looking. Diet-wise, they are carnivores, so you're gonna wanna make sure you feed them meaty foods. Uh, uh, like the LRS reef food or mice and shrimp and things like that. Guys, can I just say the mosquitoes are absolutely atrocious today. And the next fish on my list is the cardinal fish. Cardinal fish are e also easy to care for. They're carnivores. They do go in nano tanks. They are have a recommended tank size of 30 gallons. So if you've got that 20 gallon tank, you might be kind of pushing it with them. 30 gallon is what they min is what they recommend for minimum. Uh, as for temperament, they can be a little bit aggressive, but for the most part, they are generally uh, peaceful reef compatibility they are reef safe so they will not eat your cleanup crew they won't nip at coral now they're just an all-around they're really pretty fish so also the max size for this fish is about three inches they don't get very big and uh, they are a great addition to your nano tank if you're setting it up okay so now we move on to fish number three which is the green clown goby they are very weird looking they're extremely peaceful the care level for these guys is easy all you newbies that have nano tanks this could be a fish choice for you uh the size they only get to be about an inch and three quarters which is very tiny perfect for minimum of 10 gallons they have really big personalities and they will usually once they get used to the tank and the environment they will come up and they'll greet you they are also carnivores so they like those meaty foods that we talked about with the other two fish they are probably one of my favorite they look really cool if you can't tell I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes and then we got the next one on my list which is the lawnmower blenny or sail fin sail fin blenny algae blenny whatever you want to use they look like this now their care level is listed to easy to moderate and they say the moderate because they only eat algae and vegetation. They don't eat meat as much as the other fish did. Man, it's super windy. We are testing out this mic today and uh, hopefully it doesn't sound like trash in the edit. The lawnmower blenny has a diet that's specifically a herbivore diet. They're gonna eat your vegetation. They also, they pick at the rocks all day long. They keep the algae kind of to a minimum as long as it's not too incredibly long. They'll eat all your film algae and all that stuff now this fish has a maximum size of five inch you want to keep them in no smaller than a than a 30 gallon minimum people have kept them in 20 myself included didn't have that many fish bio load wasn't too incredibly bad you do want to keep in mind do get big and they do eat and poop a lot so they're gonna pollute your water if you have a lot of other fish Guys, it's always a good day when you find a little bit, a little garter snake just chilling on the path. Look at this guy, he's freaking amazing. Uh, he's not very happy to be bothered. We're gonna let him be and go on his way. Amazing, amazing little garter snake. You guys get to see cool little snakes on this little adventure talking about fish. Guys, that was freaking amazing. Uh, I love, it's not very often that I get to go on a hike, catch uh, like a garter snake or any kind of snake. It's always the people that don't like them that always seem to find them. So it was really cool that I got to see it and uh, I get to show it with you guys. So awesome on that. All right, and we're on to fish number five, the final fish on my top five. It is a clownfish. If I were to do things differently, I wouldn't put a clownfish in anything small. They get super territorial as they get older. They have a peaceful temperament. When they get older, they do get 
very territorial and they will kill other peaceful fish say like your fire fish and things like that very timid fish you kind of are limited on what you can put in there once you get a clownfish or two so if I had to do it again I probably would skip the clownfish in a 20 gallon uh, but they do have a minimum tank size of 20 gallon people do put them in 10 gallon tanks I wouldn't recommend it um, I don't know they just it reduces your fish choices when you have a clownfish in such a small tank because like I said they get territorial and you don't want that clownfish are one of the top five nano fish to keep. You have to know what you want to do with your tank going forward. If you have a certain type of fish, you want to make sure that you maybe steer away from the clownfish if you have a smaller tank. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope you all have a great afternoon. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget, hit the like button and uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos that are coming. We got to see some snakes. We got to hear about five different fish that belong in nano tanks and my favorite. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. I love you guys and I will see you all in the next one.